Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Tesla Model X played 2023 version and in this video we will do the test drive of course next day is on the channel if you want to see the full review exterior interior technical data price and all that stuff multimedia system by the way and more explanation about the car i wait you next days for the full review video if probably is not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come on the channel now guys let's drive the car first of all they said in the beginning this is the model x plate uh, that mean it comes with the most powerful version but i want to tell you about that inside the car because it's mega cold outside minus two or three degrees we have 20 inch rims by the way on this model with this matte black rims look lovely uh, now if you want to unlock the car all you have to do is just put your card here to lock it and also put your card here to unlock it that if you're not having your phone connected with the car if you want to unlock the door open the door actually you just press it here and the car will open the door for you automatically as you can see here we have aluminum pedals the new yoke steering wheel super nice vegan leather eco-friendly seats they are super super good quality much better better than in model i also electric adjustable if you want to close the door press this button and the car will close the door for you this is awesome uh, not only from there you can close the door but you can open it also from here from the screen you just press this button here and the car will open the door usually for you you can see also for the passengers the same story you can open it and close it from here my finger it's frozen that way it doesn't work but also it's work for the driver the same and also you can open uh, the wings there the falcon wings also from the screen this is really awesome let me put a seat belt and let me give you some technical data before we start driving as i said before this is the model 3 plate it comes with three electric motors one in the front two on the rear the maximum power of the car 1020 horsepower it's incredible it's one of the most powerful suv in the world and also it's the most aerodynamic suv in the world because it has only 0.24 cd so this is incredible the maximum speed 262 km per hour it's limited there uh, also for information this car can have up to six seats here you can see here we have six seats about that regarding this problem we will talk in the review video the maximum speed as supercharger 250 kilowatt you can do 0 to 100 in just 2.6 seconds with this car and we will do 0 to 100 range vltp 543 kilometers so those are the most important information in the review video i will give you even more information if you want to buy the car at least here in switzerland the price depends in which country you are but at least here in switzerland the price will go up to 127,990 francs so uh, this is as an information if you want to drive it it's really interesting because the car doesn't come with any stalks here it comes with this yoke steering wheel of course you can get it optional the normal steering wheel you don't have to pay anything for either of this you have to choose when you be, when you order the car you can choose which kind of steering wheel you want you don't have stalks and in order to put it in drive and reverse you press the brake and then once you press the brake yeah by the way i have to put the card here once you press the brake here on this area will appear some kind of a screen graphic with the car and if you want to go in forward yes front you just take the car and put it forward here and you will see an arrow that shows you forward and now you drive forward just like that if you want to go in reverse simply take the car and go right here in reverse and just release it and right now we are in reverse you can see also it activate the cameras around the car that are much better if you want to put it in neutral you just press neutral and if you want to put it in park you just press park right now the car is in park super simple just like that you don't have to stress about that because it's it's mega simple now let's drive the car press the brake put it in drive just like that also before we drive i want to show you pedal and steering here we have we are driving in chill mode comfort mode from here you have sport mode played 
uh, and also steering how you like the steering feeling we will leave it in sport uh, but from here you can change different driving mode we will drive in played mode is the most interesting but you have to pay attention when you are in played mode the car it's much much responsive so you have to pay attention at the cars around you also from the suspension you can change different settings here for example comfort sport advanced or auto i leave it on auto so let's drive it i will explain you more about that in the review video but now let's drive the car i don't want to lose too much time i love the position of driving i mean it's a tall driving position it's lovely you have a lovely visibility also by the way you have the biggest this uh, windshield in the world that's incredible and the view it's crazy you can see the sky you can see you have perfect visibility here um, and also you have a solar protection here I don't know how, the, how this is calling but it's lovely I was thinking first time yeah maybe the Sun come in, in my eyes but I test this and it was really really good I mean you don't have to worry in terms of protection from the Sun because this is working perfect very silent inside because we have double glassing guys even though <laughs> the car most of it it's made by glass uh, we have double glassing on the side so the sound insulation inside the cabin is great the turning signals are here on the steering wheel you have to go left and right just like that very simple once you get used with them uh, it's very easy to change them the problem is when you have to do like here left and then right then it's a problem because you don't have time to to press this button so you will miss one of it uh, but once you get used that up it's uh, right and down it's left uh, you don't have to look here you just do it automatically really cool also i like this screen it's a little bit different than model s um, and model 3 so you can see here a little bit more interesting all this uh, information here and the media and the screen and also the cameras the way they array here it's 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 a nice way and also i noticed that it's much more responsive the cameras are much much better than uh, the previous versions of the car so that's quite quite interesting now this this you can see here i do right and left and then with this yoke steering wheel i don't have time to to press those uh turning signals so you have to miss one <laughs> which one you like anyway lovely lovely position the pedals are great we have aluminum pedals and they feel really smooth and nice uh the visibility in this mirror is not that perfect because of the shape of the car you can you can't have the best aerodynamic in the world and in the same time to have visibility and everything perfect but visibility around the car and in the mirrors it's 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 perfect and also on the windshield the only visibility that's not perfect it's in this mirror in the back there but still still you can see pretty clear in the back there um, a lot of stuff minus two degrees outside it's very very silent inside that's that's the most impressive thing uh we will do also some accelerations with the car uh, so i can show you a zero to 100 also how the autopilot will it works um yes here i think i get all right that's nice really really responsive the acceleration the pedals uh, also the car it stays really nice on the ground I mean it's the handlings are great I feel like the stability it's really really good also the steering when you take those curves uh, it's fine when you have to take big curves you need a little bit of time to get used with it it's not that easy uh, in the beginning because most of us we are not used with those kind of steering wheels but in time you can get used with it very simple also here you can activate autopilot and you can see that the car will hold for you but now i want to go on the on the on the other lanes on the right side because here usually they drive faster than the speed limit and i don't want to bother them too much so i want to go on the right side 
just like that now I want to activate the autopilot I want to show you how the autopilot is working so you can see how good the car it stays between the lanes just perfectly I mean this is the best autopilot in the world in a Tesla uh, cars I mean it's it's lovely and here you can put it on 100 also always hold your hand on the steering wheel for the safety purpose I will have it right here around um, just for for the test but always pay attention to the road and yeah look at this it stays perfectly between the lanes I think you already see it in my other videos with even my Tesla model 3 from 2019 it's working perfectly the autopilot it's just perfect uh, no problem at all great visibility in the mirrors I mean the mirrors are big great great position here on those seats are much more comfortable than in the model uh, 3 they are amazing now let's go right here and I want to try an acceleration guys I want to try 0 to 100 <clears throat> gorgeous gorgeous seats and also the heating in the seats the seats come ventilated it comes with ventilated seats heated seats this is this is gorgeous finally uh, you have all the comfort in the car here now I will st stop a little bit I wait for those cars to to pass by to go away and then we will try the acceleration um, the the only time when you use two pedals on an automatic car or on an electric car it's when you do a lunge lunge control from 0 to 100 and we will try to do right now first of all you press the brake you press the acceleration and release the brake oh, oh, oh. holy shit this is fabulous wow <laughs> wow the feeling it's crazy 2.6 seconds 0 to 100 and we were like uphill right now it's just wow the feeling it's crazy in an SUV to be able to do that it's just oh boy nice nice I love it I love the car I, I love those Tesla cars are just so incredible um, the steering wheel it's nice you can get used with it and I like the fact with this steering wheel that you have a perfect visibility I mean you have the best visibility in the cockpit here in the front the best visibility outside uh, on the windows it's just incredible from this point of view another impressive thing it's the sound insulation from outside it's really good I mean you barely hear um, noise from outside let me activate autopilot will do the job for me uh, you barely hear noise from outside and this is incredible I mean I l really like that here we cannot launch it so we can put it uh, in chill and comfort mode and from here from the suspension you can also adjust it if you put the suspension in comfort let's test this out a little bit just like that to see how it's it's working out um, but usually um, I just test it I drive the car before and they were really good so for example right now you don't care about performance you just wanna chill out and drive relax we have some potholes here so uh, no problem over those potholes no problem um, the seats also help you in terms of comfort they are not um, made special for sporty driving they are kind of a good combination between comfort and sporty so that's a good thing and I like the side support I like how I stay in those seats why they can install those seats on model 3 that was perfect yeah yes over the bumps it's also quite good I can't say it's like an S class but it's good it's good I like the seats I really really like the seats
I will go also under a tunnel so I can show you in the night time how uh, they look like. Also another thing that I notice on the car is that the, the turning radius is really good for, for such a big SUV. silent it's smooth the steering it's much more uh, soft and lighter in, in comfort mode here it's a tunnel so you can see in the night time how the lights are looking um, I like the white background light on the steering wheel Blended. Looks really good. Even the um, the cameras in the nighttime look quite fine. Quite good resolution, so I like them. I think they are they are better than than on the previous uh, cars from 2019 because they are much more responsive. By the way, the car come also with the new hardware processor it's new here you can see the turning circle it's it's incredible good and here i didn't have time to to turn the signal on uh, on this steering wheel because it's it's complicated while you're moving to press this button it's like it's not that easy and by the way uh the wipers uh, buttons are here also on the steering wheel so what we have to do is just press this button here and it will wipe the, the screen look at it it's just like that if you press it it will release some water there and like this you wash uh, the windshield it's very simple you can get used very fast with it I was worrying the first time uh, on how this will work and will be complicated with this steering wheel but now that I drive it I find it super simple no, it's it's great. You can use it also super comfortable uh, in comfort mode. The car will give you super super comfort. Let's go back to played. Let's go back to fun. All right. Oh, oh my God! The acceleration—it's—it's it's insane. Ah. Uh. The brakes, the pedals feel awesome. The, the they, they feel phenomenal. I mean, they feel really, really good. Perfect stability. I love the grip on the ground. By the way, guys, I'm super impressed about the grip. I make zero to 100 a few times lunch and the grip, it's incredible. I mean, it grips so well the ground. It doesn't slip at all it's, it's just crazy the grip it's it's the most impressive thing uh, on the car and as i said before this one here it's very 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 useful and it's perfectly positioned there so the sun it's it's perfect on on my eyes but in the same time i have lovely visibility in the front but also um the sun it's it's kind of this is kind of protect my eyes from the sun and in the perfect position so um, yeah this is also nice and also first first of all I was worried about that that's not that good uh, but now that I use it I find it super super useful super good really crazy good and you can also adjust it up and down depend how you want it now when the sun is on the side anyway let me set it one more time i like the the tall driving position i have a perfect tall driving position here so um, it's just lovely let me put it back here super simple like that it's just very useful right now the car is driving itself it's keep the speed between the car in front and my car. It's accelerated, it brakes. Um, it has a lot of sensors. It's also changing the lanes for me if you want to. You just give it a little bit of help. Look at this. 
and it's changed the lane automatically and then it stays between the lanes this is enhanced autopilot you have to pay extra for it but look at this actually it's changing the lanes for you and if you give it a tint one more time it look it look it looks it looks and then it's doing the job for you it's that simple guys um, I don't know how many cars in the world can change the lane itself uh, but Tesla can do that uh, with this new autopilot and they improve it every day they improve it more and more and more and more and this is great this is great this is this is a great great car now guys let's go out here you can also choose how much uh, brake regenerative brake uh, the car should apply for example right now it's uh, the maximum standard you can see when you release the acceleration the car will regenerate the brake uh, the, the energy back in the battery and you can choose that how you want it the, the only downside on Tesla's is that you cannot leave it roll and I wish that will be an option in the future you know to leave the car rolling uh, just like that it's nobody there good visibility on the side and then let's look at this fabulous grip the grip it's just insane that's what I'm that's what I like to see on all uh, cars I mean in curves acceleration maximum push it down perfect grip on the ground perfect grip and outside it's minus one degrees two degrees great grip so great job Tesla really really um, step up the game in the last uh, years and I like the fact that they improve a lot of stuff on the cars we will talk about that in the review video so stay close guys uh, to see also the review video uh, that that come next days on the channel if not probably it's already on the channel check it out um, otherwise just subscribe to the channel to see the notification when that video will come out Again here, autopilot, it's on, the car is doing the job. Very good sound insulation from outside and the music, it's off right now, but when you turn on the music, it will be even better. Uh, but I'm, I'm surprised they, they improved this over the years a lot. So this Tesla Model X Plate 2023, it's, it's almost a perfect car and the price it's really good for the performance if we think about performance it's 127 28,000 francs in Switzerland uh, in other countries the price might be different but guys taking into consideration the performance 1020 horsepower this is a Lamborghini Ferrari super expensive car performance and you have it in the price that's just crazy good in my opinion so I don't know about you but performance space uh, maintenance costs it's also much better than you will buy in Mercedes or Ferrari or Lamborghini Urus for example lovely you have auto hold you have everything you just press the brake the car will stay for you it will also give you a tint you can see in the front there on the cockpit uh the traffic signs and stuff like that and also there it will give you a sign when it will be green so you know you have to go forward also here you can see all kind of information like consumptions and stuff like that nice really nice car so as a resume of the car this is the most aerodynamic SUV in the world with the biggest windshield in the world and with the best performance SUV in the world so I think this says everything about the car I don't even tell you it has the best autopilot in the world as an SUV 
and I don't receive any money from Tesla, it's just my opinion. This is the truth. Of course, of course, they have to improve even more the quality um, and some stuff they can be improved uh, because if we compare it with a Mercedes S class, of course, Mercedes has better quality, but still, Tesla come with a lot of great. Uh, quality as well for example up here we have Alcantara guys on the roof and even the doors are not bad we have soft material and stuff like that kind of carbon fiber around here but yeah I don't know depend on the taste but in general it's just lovely car lovely i like it i like the driving position uh, i like those seats they are really really good uh, and also you can see it from here they, they kind of have perfect balance uh, between sporty and performance First time <laughs> with those turning signals, I need a little bit of time to get used. I forget always what, which is where. I mean, up it's right and down it's left, and you don't have to look at them when you press them. You know, like you, you just feel it and then you hear it. Uh, but for sometimes I forget and I have to look one more time. Uh, but after a while, probably if you drive the car one week, uh, you can get used with them. So here, for example it's a place where we have a lot of bumps and go the suspension on comfort yeah just that's good and here we can see that even over the bumps the car is doing quite fine and yeah we have the 20 inch rims you can get you can go up to 22 inch rims on this car i think it will look much better and much better handlings and performance but still 20 inch uh, they are more than perfect you can see left and right I don't have time to I don't have time to press the right turning signals Ah, oh, crazy. I love the car, really. Really beautiful. And I have some space here. I want to show you how easy it is to park the car. For example, if you want to park it, you just go here. And then you go press this, go down, and you're in reverse. And then all you have to do is just park it. You have those cameras. You have some active lines there that shows you. You have also the big mirrors to check if you're right and sensors in the front in the back that tell you how many centimeters you're farther away from the, the place and then you press the park and you're in park and it's this this how easy it is and then of course guys if you want to open the door the car will do that for you you can close it as well super cool i love the car and you can do this with all the doors now guys that was the test drive i hope you enjoy the video if you have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask for more details technical data material quality space design and all that stuff you will find it in the full review video so check it out next days on the channel if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information guys tesla cars as you probably know they are incredible i mean incredible offer incredible performance incredible safety features with a relatively good price so that was the video i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it please like share subscribe i would really appreciate that so really thank you very much to all of you that watching my videos also guys if you want to see more new cars new videos that will come on the channel click the subscribe button that's really appreciated from you uh, my rating for this Tesla Model X Plate 2023 from 1 to 10 will be 9.9, .9, 10, around there. I should say 10, 10, I will give it a 10 because it's incredible. Performance wise, 
for an SUV, it's crazy. Anyway, thank you for watching, stay safe, and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.